Dermal fillers play a significant role in facial enhancement. Clinical effectiveness, facial aesthetics, and patient satisfaction are critical outcome measures for the use of dermal fillers. Successful outcomes can be determined by specific chemical and physical attributes of the dermal filler selected. The ideal characteristics of the dermal filler have really changed over the years we have evolved with fillers. When we were dealing only with wrinkle filling, we weren't as critical. But now that fillers have na evolved into various uses, such as sculpting and volumizing, as well as wrinkle filling, the aesthetics of it have demanded better characteristics. We're looking for a filler that has an even flow, injects smoothly, and gives a very natural appearance upon injection. A filler that we can place into the area and maintain its correction and know that it's going to stay where it is. A filler with very little side effects, little bruising, inflammation, erythema, and a filler that will be smooth and even both in its feel and its natural appearance. As wrinkle fillers first evolved, the longevity was about two to three months. As time goes on, our patients made demands and we felt necessary that fillers have a greater longevity than that. Probably the ideal time is a year for longevity. This program examines the science and technology of hyaluronic acid-based, or HA, dermal fillers and the respective properties of currently available HA fillers. All HA products are different in terms of their concentration, the cross-linker they use, their degree of cross-linking, what percent of the product is cross-linked, or what percent of the product is uncross-linked HA. And then also another very important characteristic differences between products is that how they're formulated. Hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring polysaccharide. Both animal and bacterial-based HA start with the same identical monomer. Multiple units chemically bind to form the hyaluronic acid polymer chain. Hyaluronic acid plays key roles in the body, including the maintenance of skin volume and hydration. In its natural form, free, non-modified, or uncross-linked hyaluronic acid forms a liquid made of highly hydrated individual polymers that are metabolized in the body within a few days. When formulating dermal fillers, manufacturers usually add hyaluronic acid in dry powder form to a buffer or saline solution, producing a highly hydrated viscous liquid with the appearance of egg white. Unmodified or uncross-linked hyaluronic acid, if used as a dermal filler, would degrade within days. To overcome uncross-linked hyaluronic acid's lack of persistence, dermal filler manufacturers use cross-linkers. Cross-linkers bind the HA polymer chains to each other, transforming the viscous liquid into a gel. The hyaluronic acid chains become fixed with each other and act as a single unit. Cross-linked HA gels, acting as a single unit, impose a physical and chemical barrier to enzymatic, mechanical, and free radical breakdown. Enzymes and free radicals can now only break down the chains in much smaller portions at a time. So how does the degree of cross-linking relate to the performance of an HA filler? So let's say you have a cross-linked hyaluronic acid product and you inject it into the skin. As soon as you do that, the body will start breaking it down. For example, enzymes or free radicals that have an ability to break down HA will come and start cleaving off chunks of the material and start breaking it down. A hyaluronic acid product with fewer cross-linkers is more readily susceptible to degradation by enzymes or free radicals. Theoretically, if all other parameters were equal, a higher degree of cross-linking will mean that the product should last longer the amount of HA or the concentration and the degree of cross-linking, these two parameters will affect how long the product will last and also they will affect how hard the product is. The more you cross-link it, in other words, the higher the degree of cross-linking is, if every other parameter was identical, the harder the gel will get. Similarly, if every other parameter was identical, the more concentration you have, the higher the gel hardness will become.
Gel hardness, or G prime, is measured by placing the gel between two plates and moving the upper plate horizontally relative to the lower one. The higher the degree of crosslinking in a given gel, the more tightly the HA chains will be held together and more force will be needed to displace the upper plate. Depending on how an HA dermal filler is formulated, the performance of the product is going to differ in terms of its persistence, extrusion properties, and how the physician and the patient experiences the product. Manufacturers cross-link hyaluronic acid to yield large gel masses. Traditional formulation methods produce specific sizes and shapes by sieving the gel mass through screens. This method results in a granular consistency formulation with similarly sized gel particles. Such formulations have a higher G prime value that must be modified to allow injection into the skin. Theoretically, the larger the particles are, the longer they should last. In a large particle, the limited surface area should inhibit degradation by enzymes and, to some extent, free radicals. In theory, smaller particles present significantly more surface area to enzymes and free radicals, which should result in more rapid degradation. However, because hyaluronic acid gel particles are porous and do not have solid surfaces, enzymes and free radicals have access to the whole gel rather than only the surface. Therefore, contrary to the theory, an HA filler's particle size has very limited effect on overall product duration. But if you have large particles, you negatively affect the extrusion properties of the product. To aid the extrusion and flow of granular consistency products, manufacturers often use uncross-linked HA because it behaves as a lubricant and facilitates injections. Uncross-linked HA is defined as the portion of the product including lightly cross-linked chains and fragments that will aid extrusion and flow. Juoderm itself, through the Hylocross technology, is a very soft, malleable product. Advanced Hylocross formulation technology combines a high degree of cross-linking and a high concentration of hyaluronic acid to create volume through a three-dimensional matrix structure. This highly cross-linked, robust network structure increases the resistance to enzymatic degradation. Advanced Hylocross formulation technology does not require specific particle sizing and yields a smooth consistency soft gel with a low G prime value. With smooth consistency products, extrusion is not constrained by particle size. The products inject smoothly. This dry test illustrates the differences in formulations. The granular consistency gel on the right looks granular or particulate. When manipulating the product, one can clearly see two phases the gel phase, the particles, and liquid, which is uncross-linked HA. In the smooth consistency gel on the left, particles or granules are not visible, nor is excess liquid. When manipulating this product, one sees a smoother, more cohesive gel, as opposed to two distinct phases. This smooth consistency is due to a lower amount of uncross-linked HA and to effective blending of cross-linked and uncross-linked HA through Hylocross technology. Juvederm has a different feel from some of the other dermal fillers. The even flow requires just an even amount of slight pressure. You can be more sensitive and more exacting, and your filler will go in more evenly. That flow characteristic is the first thing you notice when you start injecting Juvederm, and it can really be used to your advantage to get a very sensitive, an aesthetic result. HA dermal fillers vary in their physical and chemical characteristics. Many variables related to formulation technologies contribute to their overall performance. Concentration. Per milliliter of product, Juvederm contains about 20% more total HA than Restylane. Gel hardness. Due to its formulation with Hylocross technology, Juvederm is a soft gel that requires minimal amounts of uncross-linked hyaluronic acid to achieve acceptable extrusion properties. Percent of cross-linked HA. When you compare 16 milligrams per milliliter versus 21.6 milligrams per milliliter, 
Juvederm contains approximately 35% more cross-linked HA per milliliter than Restylane. Resistance to Enzymatic Degradation When comparing Juvederm Ultra to Restylane, the in vitro rate of degradation is lower for Juvederm Ultra. Compared to Perlane, the rate of Juvederm Ultra Plus in vitro degradation is lower. There are some tweaks to Juvederm that makes it definitely an advanced version. And the most important difference is that Juvederm uses the high lacrosse technology. The pivotal six-month trial was a rigorous split-face double-blinding trial of Juvederm versus Zyplast to prove a number of things. One is its efficacy. Number two was longevity, and this was to be for up to six months. And number three was patient preference. The results were conclusive that Juvederm did last up to six months, and in addition to that, it had a uniform consistency and gave very consistent results. Patient preference in this study was for Juvederm. The question was asked, how long can Juvederm last beyond six months? To answer that, a rigorous extended trial was done, taking those subjects who started in the pivotal trial and re-injecting them up to a year to a year and a half. The results showed that a large number of subjects maintained correction for up to a year with both Juvederm Ultra and Juvederm Ultra Plus. As we have seen, clinical effectiveness, facial aesthetics, and patient satisfaction can be determined by specific characteristics of the dermal filler selected. I find the use of both Juvederm Ultra and Ultra Plus complementary in being able to handle most of the wrinkles, folds, and needs of the lower face. Juvederm Ultra, it's great because of its natural feel, its even flow. We can put it into moderate nasolabial folds, and its filling property gives a natural result right from the get-go. Juvederm Ultra Plus, the heavier, more robust filler, is able to handle that more difficult situation. It can lift the deeper grooves. It can actually elevate some of the marionette lines, giving a firmer filler for those needs. From a patient's perspective, we've seen a high degree of acceptance of Juvederm. They've enjoyed the natural appearance of it, the look of it, and my patients almost universally have been happy with it as a new filling product. Juvederm, the next generation of HA dermal fillers, formulated with high lacrosse technology for clinical effectiveness, lasting results, and consistent patient satisfaction. Juvederm, for a smooth, natural look and feel, from Allergan.